Hello, everybody. It's Dave Neal, stand-up comic and host of Bachelor Nation News. We have a update to who will be on the new season of Special Forces on Fox. Two Bachelorettes, Trista and Allie. Uh, you might remember the original Bachelorette, Trista Sutter and Allie Fedotowski. Also, I would call that an original, an OG, as it were. I'm going to share with you guys the trailer for the new season, Plus the bizarre uh, comments by Trista regarding her husband. He sort of did a little bit of that sort of um, Facebook baiting as it is, where he posted something very cryptic about Trista while she was away filming. We all knew because we know, you know, with all of our sources that she was filming Special Forces, but he made it seem like she was leaving him. It was very bizarre. We'll have the response to that, but let's first play the actual uh, trailer for the upcoming season of Special Forces premiering in January. Ready or not? And by the way, in case you don't know, it's a show where celebrities, it's like dancing with the stars, but for the military, right? It's like celebrities that have a little bit of free time on their hand, get some redemption as they try to uh, do, uh, you know, cold plunges and uh, team building challenges. There's a famous quote that says, in order to get something that you've never had, you gotta do something that you've never done. Oh, I lost it. Oh, I'm so sorry, guys. We just lost it later. Let's go back to it. Boy, this is, I was gonna pause it and just say that, um, you know, Cam Newton, he barely is retired from the NFL. He was on my New England Patriots. Didn't go great, but I love the idea. That would be my favorite activity is jumping from a boat to a helicopter, like something fun like that. You are here to prove you have something about you. I've been in situations where I freeze. When it's pink time, I'm toured out. I hope that this course will allow me to be the old carry. I can't breathe! <laughs> you have to be hungry, you have to be tough, and you must never give up. The devil on my shoulder is going, you can't do this. You're not meant to be here. You should go home. I'm just trying to believe in the angel that's telling me you can do it. Ocean warfare is treacherous. I'm not meant for water. Close quarter combat, and to one fighting. Yeah, it's gonna make me feel uncomfortable. Scared, like really scared. It's about taking that leap of faith. Oh. Oh. Bruh. This is gonna be a test of your character. I can't breathe. This ain't Hollywood, mate. There it is, five-week event. What did we get ourselves into? All right, now look, uh, uh, traditionally, Bachelor alumni do well on this show. My thought is because if you're someone like Cam Newton, you're worth $60 million, you really don't need this. You know, certain athletes, if you've already got your big paycheck, you really don't need this. But if you're someone who could really use the boost and have a lot to prove, I feel as though a lot of Bachelor alumni have, um, uh, what, what would you call the imposter syndrome? And by that, I mean, they didn't really earn any of the fame that they got. And, I mean, I'm not, I'm not blaming them. I'm just saying, and this is a, this is a theory. They didn't really earn the fame that they got. So by going on the show, it's a chance for them to prove to themselves that they deserve to be there. Does that make sense? What's interesting on this season is that you've got a little bit of an older class. In past seasons, we've had Nick Vial, we've had um, Hannah Brown, right? I think those are the two former uh, Tyler Cameron. I mean, real beasts in their in their respective like sort of age brackets. Uh, but now we've got you know Trista Sutter. She's older, uh, but her husband posted this weird cryptic thing. We covered it. Uh, no need to replay it. Uh, but here was her response. Was it a divorce, nervous breakdown, midlife crisis, death, trial, separation back in May? Not unless that's what you call Special Forces. World's Toughest Test, Season 3. Thankfully, none of those things are associated with my experience in filming the show. But as you get a glimpse of it in the trailer, the angel on my shoulder did have to face some pretty big battles. You'll have to tune in in January to see the battles play out. But for now, just so grateful to be a part of this epic adventure. Yeah, they're having fun with it, but a lot of people were sort of annoyed by his post because it did provide a lot of unnecessary worrying from people to be like, what's going on with her? Is everything okay? And it's like, sure, everything's fine. By the way, would Caitlin Bristow ever do Special Forces? 
That's an interesting question. I, I mean, I mean, if anyone's a survivor, it would be her. Leave a comment. Who do you think would be good on this show that uh, sort of has been in the Bachelor Nation world? Uh, here's what re- here's what Zachary Reality, uh, young stepson to Reality, Steve. Here's what he had to say about the Trista Sutter situation. Bachelorette Trista Sutter has been found. She was filming Fox's Special Forces World's Toughest Test season three TMZ reports. There was a lot of speculation and online rumors after her husband Ryan was posting some cryptic messages when Trista was away. He posted captions saying, I really wish I could talk to you. I want to know how you're doing. All right, so yeah, this is, I mean, really, I know you wish you were here for Mother's Day. We wish you were too. Sometimes being a mom means letting go of their hands, granting independence and stimulating their courageous spirit. Sometimes it's not, so it was just a, it was a lot. It was a lot. And again, anyway, so Zachary Reality had all the information back in June, which is, no, she was just off working. She was at work. And by the way, it's a five-week event, but they film it over the course of like six or seven days. So don't get me wrong. It seems exhausting, but uh, not like, uh, you know, just a reminder that this cosplaying of special forces for one week is nothing compared to what the military go through when they're on long deployments and away from their family. Uh, here's Ali Mano, a.k.a. Ali Fedotowski, heading to a Hollywood-filled press day. I feel like Cinderella, wish me luck. Here she is with her husband, Kevin, revealing that she's going to be on Special Forces. People are still wondering where Ali disappeared to for a month back in May, and the announcement has been made. The reason she got so obsessed with fitness, look at the strong arm <laughs> coming into the frame here. Why don't you come tell them where you were? Special Forces! Yay! <laughs> Ali filmed the season of Special Forces on Fox, and the announcement has been made. The show's coming in January. You know, I just wear my outfit from the show around the house on a yeah. random Friday, because why not? Where's mom? I can't see. She's in her camouflage. So listen... Ali Fedotowski is in Nashville, and so am I. And boy, wouldn't it be nice to get her as a guest on Driving with Dave? If I could only know somebody who knows Ali Fedotowski. Kevin Mano and Ali met. Actually, you know what? Rather than tell you, let me show you. Here's the story of how they met. Kevin, of course, radio DJ, cool guy, joined me several months ago. When was this? In May for an episode of Driving with Dave point we've been doing stuff together we met on a tv show she was hosting after she was the bachelorette uh she was hosting a show on nbc called first look where she would like go around the country and yeah i've seen that it's like a saturday is it like a saturday morning show it was you know it's like, i mean they might replay oh it. no no it's like the after show after saturday night live that's yeah. it so yeah. she did that show for a few years and uh i co-hosted a segment with her one of my best friends was a producer on that show uh and he they needed a co-host for something so i co-hosted with her and that's how we met um so Truly, we met on camera. So like our entire, we've been together uh, 14 years now or something, 13 years. Um, Our entire relationship has been sort of making things. You know what I mean? So there they are. That's, you hear from Kevin himself, Kevin Mano, married to Ali Fedotowski, met after she was The Bachelorette. And you can watch that full episode on the Dave Neal show. Boy, we're getting a lot of random tea from these Dave Neal episodes where we just go around and talk to random people. But yeah, it would be great to get Allie on. I'm sure she's in high demand. Let's see. I mean, she's got to be... Uh, oh, she's not quite over a, at a million followers, but she's up there, 893,000. Uh, but again, I know, come on, you're, I know you're busy, but uh, now that I'm in your Tennessee home, I, I guess they lived in uh, they lived in Los Angeles, so they had a similar uh, sort of um, similar route as I did, which was leave L.A. for Nashville, um, you know, just a smaller, you know, more suburban lifestyle. Uh, but there she is heading to a Hollywood-filled press day, uh, you know, getting ready. Let's see, today I have a video. Hey, off we go. Off we go. Happy birthday. <laughs> so she's going to be on the show. We wish her the best. Again, leave a comment. Let her know that Dave Neal's covering her. We're going to be all about making sure our bachelorettes do well on special forces. I hope they make it to the end. We'll have to see how it all plays out. Um, I've got other content coming your way right after this. More pop culture and entertainment news. We'll give you your daily fix twice a day, every day. The Rush Hour Podcast. Scan that QR code or just search the Rush Hour wherever you listen to podcasts. We'll see you then.